the implant. The implant is one or two tiny flexible rods that are inserted just under the skin of a woman's upper arm. The rods release a hormone slowly into her body and can protect her from pregnancy for several years depending on the type of implant. This video will tell about the implant and show insertion and removal. The implant is an extremely effective and convenient way to prevent pregnancy. Insertion is quick and easy and the woman has reliable and safe contraception for years. There is nothing for her to remember to do. If the woman is ready to get pregnant, she can get it removed at any time and her fertility will return. Most of the time, the implant can't be seen, though it can be felt under the skin. Tell the woman what to expect. Most women will have a change in their monthly bleeding. At first, it may be irregular or prolonged. Over several months, bleeding often becomes lighter and infrequent in time. It's common to have no bleeding at all. This is normal and safe. The blood is not building up in the body. Some women may also experience headaches, acne, or changes in weight. Often, these side effects improve over time. Correct any misunderstandings. Some people think that the implant will move around in the body. This is not true. Once an implant is inserted correctly, it will stay where it is until she wants it removed. The implant also does not cause birth defects or cancer. This is a very safe method for almost all women, including adolescents. It's not recommended though for women with breast cancer, liver tumors, or an active blood clot. If she is having unusual vaginal bleeding, she should be evaluated before starting the implant. An implant can be inserted anytime as long as the woman is quite sure she's not pregnant. If it's been more than seven days after the start of her monthly bleeding, have her avoid sex or use condoms for a week following the implant insertion. A woman can also get an implant immediately after giving birth or having an abortion, and it's safe to use while breastfeeding. Tell the woman how the insertion is done. The skin is cleaned with an antiseptic then a local anesthetic is given to numb the area. She will hardly feel the insertion itself. Then, using a device, the rod is inserted just below the skin. Adhesive tape is applied and a bandage goes on top. The whole procedure takes a few minutes. Removing the implant is usually quick and easy. The area just beneath the end of the rod is numbed with anesthetic. Then a tiny cut is made in the skin. And the implant is removed. If the woman wants to continue using the implant, another one can be inserted in the same incision at that time. The woman needs to return to the clinic when the implant's effectiveness is finished in several years depending on the type of implant. 
advise her to return to the clinic if she is not happy with the method. Implant removal should be available without delay when a woman requests it. Offer the woman a supply of condoms. The implant does not protect her from sexually transmitted infections. Only condoms do that. Remember, the implant is a very effective, long-lasting method. Insertion is quick and easy. There's nothing the woman needs to do or remember.